Okay guys, so it's very important to make sure that our training is sustainable. To be sustainable, we have to stay healthy, we have to stay uninjured as much as possible. Things are gonna happen, but we can minimize that as much as possible by making sure that we're properly warmed up and that we're properly rested, that we're properly, uh, have proper nutrition, everything else. So we're gonna start with some solo mobility drills for the ground, and as we go on, I'll also introduce different things that we can do for drills, whether solo or partner drills. But these are some that I really like to start out with. So to start, we're gonna uh, practice our break fall to get to the ground and then some move, uh, mobility things on the ground. So to start out with a basic back fall from here, I'm gonna start with my feet in kind of a natural stance. I don't wanna do anything too crazy. I'm gonna let my hands float out into the side, uh, in front of me here. You can cross them if you like, but I just like to let mine naturally relax. I'm gonna tuck my stomach in, I'm gonna keep my chin down like this here, and I wanna sit down fairly close to my butt whenever I go. From there, I rock here like this. That causes the, the weight here to be kind of distributed out to the side so it's not all centralized and I don't suffer too much of an impact. So whenever we're taking this back fall, I want my butt to hit first so I rock onto my back and I don't hit flat and knock the breath out of me. And this will be one of the foundational uh, break falls that we'll have across everything. Whenever I go here, this way, okay? Now, coupled with that, we also wanna try, uh, take our side fall. The side fall, is something that will probably take more than anything else. And to do that, this is the way I like to practice. I'm gonna grab one side of my collar and I'm gonna sweep my foot and my hand across the side of my body, drop straight down, and just like on the back fall, I rock instead of falling flat. It looks like this. So whenever I fall on my side, side means that my knee, hip, and shoulder are all off the ground on one side, everything else is flat here. I keep my chin tucked so I don't get whiplash and so that my head is never on the floor like this and I'm not taking a fall. One more time on the side fall here, for the other side, I grab my collar, I let my hand and my foot, like there's a string tied between these two, slide across my body, I walk into this side fall just like this. And again, knee, hip, shoulder all up on this side, chin is tucked and head is off the ground. To couple out, to round out our falls, rather than taking the front fall, I'm gonna do a rollout. And a rollout is really important because it can end in a side fall or it can end all the way standing. For the rollout, I'm gonna step forward, I'm gonna put one hand on the floor like this, and I'm gonna take this hand here, the other one, and my nose to my armpit as I go here. And I can wind up back into a standing position, or I can end it with a side fall to get extra practice on my fall. If I'm gonna do that, end it in a side fall, I'll place my hand on the floor, I'll tuck my nose and my hand inside like this, and roll, and then wind up in the same side fall, one side of my body up, chin is tucked, just like we discussed before. So those are our fundamental break falls, the back fall, side fall, both sides, and then the rollout either to a fall or back to standing. So as we continue on with some of our warm-ups and our mobility drills, Arguably one of the most important foundational uh, movements on the ground is shrimping. And to get to shrimping, we can take our back fall as we did before here. As I'm here, I'm gonna turn onto my side. I'm gonna get, again, knee, hip, shoulder all off the ground on this side. My chin is tucked, my head is off the ground. And whenever I go to shrimp, I want this foot here close to my butt as possible. Whenever I go to shrimp, I'm lifting this hip to make it light and I'm gonna just push my hips and my butt back this way rather than trying to push my whole body. It looks something like this here, right? Then I'm gonna go to the other side. My foot's very close to my butt. I'm up on my side on this side here. I'm gonna retract my hip this way. Now, I can do this stationary here or I can do this in line drills where I actually travel up and down the matted surface. So shrimping is a very important movement because we're gonna see it repeated over and over again whenever we're trying to make certain spaces or fill certain spaces on the ground. And it's important too to note that shrimping is related to what we're gonna do in a moment, a technical stand-up. And there's a relationship that goes across the body. If I go here and I go from uh, here, I'm going hip like this. If I get to my elbow, then I'm gonna to go to my knee here. If I get to my hand, I'm gonna to go to my foot. So it travels on down the body in a chain this way. So again, the relationship here is shoulder and hip this way, elbow to knee this way, and hand to foot this way. And those are all kind of grown from that shrimping kind of movement. That's why it's such an important consideration. In addition to shrimping, I would put a very high priority also on bridging. Those are gonna be probably the two most fundamental movements on the ground that you're gonna get the most action out of. So again, to get there, I'm gonna take my back fall here. So I'm constantly getting break fall practice over and over again. To make this bridge, I don't have to go full wrestler's bridge where I come up on my head and I use my neck, but instead I'm just gonna stay here on my back. I wanna get my feet 
close to my butt. I can hold my collars if I'm wearing the gi, and then I'm gonna bridge my hips up and slightly over one shoulder this way. So I'm gonna get my hips pretty high up in the air this direction, and then the other direction here. So I'm slightly angling off each side. If you have a fairly weak bridge or you're having trouble getting your hips up as high as you'd like them to be, a good uh, little cheat for this is instead, if I can only get my feet this close, bump the hips up and then to try to get your feet closer underneath your butt. That's gonna help you get further extension here. So whenever you're bridging and making movements like that to maybe get someone off of you or to create space between you and the person on top of you, then that's gonna uh, make the extra space right there. So I'm gonna go here and get my feet underneath my butt as much as I can, bridge up over my shoulder, look the direction that I'm going this way and this way. If we wanna add something extra onto the bridge, we can also turn this into a flip. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna bridge up this way like I was before, and then I'm gonna thread my leg through here this way, and then I can come up to my knees or to my feet, right? So I go here this way, and I can thread through this way here, and then get into my turtle position. So that's gonna come in very handy whenever we're doing like an uphill escape out of a bridging type movement from maybe side control or mount that we'll see a little bit later. So moving on with some of these warm-ups and ground mobility drills, we're gonna look at some different directional rolls. And not just the rollout that we did before whenever we're practicing our break falls, but if I take a back fall this way, then I can turn that all the way into a backward rollout. And the way I like to do it is to get as nice and as flat as possible so I practice rolling over my shoulder. So as I go here and I take my back fall this way, I'm gonna continue the motion over and look over one shoulder, move my head out of the way, and then continue on this way, flat out on my stomach. To get bring that back to the beginning stage, I'm gonna turn the other direction, move my head away from the shoulder, I'm gonna roll over, and then use my legs here, mostly my, my core is making this movement rather than having to walk my feet up. So if I wanna do it the opposite direction, then I can look to go this way here with my legs, nice and flat, move my head out of the way, and go back the other direction. So that's a good way for me to practice my forward rolling and backward rolling that's gonna come in very handy whenever maybe somebody's trying to pass my legs or maybe whenever I'm trying to resist the pressure of getting stacked. So um, in addition to those, another good movement to have is a lateral kind of rolling movement. And for that, we'll use a Granby roll. A Granby roll essentially is a sideways roll that goes from shoulder to shoulder. Whereas on a rollout, I would go shoulder to opposite side hip. This is gonna go shoulder to shoulder, so it'll look something like this here. The way I like to practice is by tucking my arm behind my own back and trying to keep my feet in front of my nose as I roll this direction here. And then that helps me to make sure that I don't fall over because a common mistake that people will make a lot of the time, they'll start the Granby roll here, but then they will fall like this and turn it into kind of a messed up rollout. So instead of doing that, I tuck my, my arm behind my back, I go shoulder to shoulder across like this, and then I can go shoulder to shoulder across like that. So that again, that's the Granby roll. It comes in really handy as well. Another very important ground mobility drill and also that works really well as a warm-up drill is our knee walking. And this can be uh, like we're practicing a penetration shot, like we're shooting in for a double or single leg, or it can just be a way to loosen up our knees and our hips. But whenever I go to do this, I'm gonna start with one knee here like this. I can start it from standing, but just to isolate the movement and how it's gonna work, I wanna look at this here. My knee needs to go over my toes so that I'm never actually just walking on my knees. I'll push my knee over my toes this way. I wanna open my hips, and then this leg here is gonna slide up this direction. So whenever we're moving this way, I want to go here, this way, drag the other foot along here, and this is the kind of mobility drill that we'll do like this. So now, from here, my knee pushes down, I bring the other one up to this direction. I want to keep my hands off of the ground so I'm not having to use these to assist. It's not the end of the world, but I like to try to maintain my balance and my structure as much as possible as I'm doing this so that the concentration is on my lower extremities and getting those warmed up.